Mark Weiner is with us in studio. Innovative, Mark. Uh, <coughs> we do what we can from time to time. You know, for us it was a nice deal. Are they putting up their balance sheet for listing or something? Uh, I don't think that it's for listing. You know, I think it's no secret that business was for sale uh, a couple of years back. They couldn't get the price. I think the founder is now at the stage where he wants to take some money off the table. So I think by selling the properties, uh, it gives him the cash he wants, and I think the business uh, will continue, maybe down the line, sell off some parts or something. But I don't know the strategy. You know, we obviously did extensive due diligence into their financials. We're pretty happy with them as a privately owned PDY limited company. So we're happy with the covenant, and we're happy with the deal. You happy with the deal? No doubt. And I'm sure you'll be finalizing a few more in your new executive chairman position. Are we working on a few interesting ones? Yeah, it's... Uh, Any of the smaller listed players that have recently come into the market? No, you know, the Redefine three years ago started moving its focus to better quality property, so there's really not much out there that really suits our profile in terms of the smaller listed properties. We're looking for this kind of deal, large... Um, Maxfield, Eric Sampson, so he's looking to retire and he's looking to bank a few of those billions, eh? I How much so. of it does he own? I think it's about 70%. 70%. Wow. And he's a very low profile guy. Very low profile. But you, you've, you've presumably known him for a long time and you've got I into the door. I don't really know him. I think I've met him once. Mm -hmm. uh, this was an interesting transaction. It was brought to us by a broker. Uh, we hadn't heard about it. There were two other players looking at it. They'd been doing it for some time. It was a Tuesday. The uh, board meeting was on Friday. We had submitted an offer subject to due diligence. They liked our offer, it had a few innovative tools, and it was a difficult deal technically. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the properties, they've got town planning issues that haven't been, so we were able to, in a short space of time, really put things in place that, that'll happen over time that, that suit us but, uh, and gives them time to, to get the cash. A 12-year deal, can they buy the properties back after 12 there's years? Two, there, there's a formula for them to buy the properties back at the end of 12 years. And there's also a scenario for a, a five-year renewal on how the rental will be formulated. Quickly, uh, RBM, the deal you did there? Yeah, look, that's been a long time coming. International company took about 12 months to get all the approvals. Uh, but we knew that we were the number one choice on our building for that. It just took a long time to dot the R's and cross the T's. How big is that? Uh, that's about 10,500 square meters. The building is 19. Another 2,000 odd has been let. It'll be ready, hopefully, by year end. We've got the strike and things to make up. But I think by the time the builders go and leave, the building should be empty, and we should be pretty well let, 75 Rand to 80. Of the building is uh, just under 500 million. Sure. You, you, you're paying great guns, eh? You're not retiring. I, I remember... No, not at all. Yeah. Uh, the last I spoke to you in his office, though, he told me his um, other name is Dibebe, by the way. Yeah, but you've yeah, got property right. in your blood, don't you, Yeah, Mark? no, it's, uh, I'm, certainly, I'm certainly not retiring. Uh, all I've done is passed on all the, the things that irritate me, the, <laughs> the social and ethics committee and the sustainability and, and all those kinds of things. You're not supposed to say that publicly. I can say Socials publicly. and eth ethics committees. No, it's, 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 you're supposed to be on that one for life. No, 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 no. So now that's Andrew's business. <laughs> and I, I'm really looking at acquisitions and disposals, international and investor relations. A so lot less headaches for you now. But uh, we'll see a you here then. A lot investor more relations. So. Yeah. Investor relations, yeah. What a question. So Thank that's who we are. Thank you. It's always <laughs> a pleasure to speaking to Mr. Mark Dizebe Weiner, Executive Chairman of Redefine.